Hair restoration today is a very different endeavor from what it was many years ago. I think a lot of people are very concerned about looking pluggy or looking fake. Um, I really want to emphasize today that the way that we perform hair, hair restoration is totally different. The plugs are gone. That is something of yesteryear. Today what we really emphasize is natural grafting. And Amina, who's my hair transplant coordinator and I, have really come up with a unique combination grafting approach which allows us to achieve two major important objectives. Number one, a natural result, and that's our preeminent concern. Number two is really hair density, that given variables in the amount of hair you have on the back side of the head, where we take the hair from, really good achievable density, an excellent achievable density within one session in most cases. For those people that don't know what hair restoration is about or how we do it or, or how does it stay, I want to take a step back and sort of explain to you how it works. Essentially, if you think about it, even the most bald individual, the baldest individual out there that doesn't have hair, still has hair on the back of his head. That hair is genetically programmed to never be lost. So the principle of modern hair restoration is that we take the hair from the back of the head and transplant it aesthetically into an area that would, the patient would benefit from, right here. And really what's wonderful about that is since the 1950s with what Norman Orntreich has found is that hair is never lost. And that's what's so wonderful about this. We deliver great numbers in mega session procedures. However, what I want to emphasize to you today is not so much the numbers, but the quality of the delivery. That's something that I cannot overemphasize enough. So let's break down what quality we deliver. Number one, I want to start with the idea that you don't have discomfort. And that to me is not a small subject. It's a very important subject. Because I've put together a full surgery center on site, you really don't have pain. And I'm going to use that word because you really don't have it. It's so comfortable. I don't remember a last patient that's ever complained of discomfort. In fact, to the contrary, the people that have had a few procedures done elsewhere and come through to us really for the first time say to me, you know what, Dr. Lamb, that's the first time I would consider having it done again. And to me, that's really wonderful. And it just makes me feel great because they feel great. There really is no discomfort. The second element is how we deliver the grafts. What's so important about it is not just placing the grafts in, but let's, I'm going to use my fingers as an example. If the grafts go in like this, sticking straight up, they look unnatural. That's a big, big thing because you, it's a telltale sign of a bad job. What we do is we take those grafts and we angle them down forward. Angling the grafts down forward is so important for a number of reasons. Number one is you don't see or you barely can see the insertion points of where those grafts go in. That is important because it doesn't look grafty, it looks very natural. The second thing is I want you to think back to analogy of, for example, a roof. A roof has shingles. In other words, the tiles are placed like this and they're, and they're angling like an awning almost. And that awning costs, casts a shadow over the scalp. And that shadow is what cuts down the glare and the exposure of that scalp, so you don't see the scalp. When you don't see bald scalp, you really get a better visual impact of the hair density. And that's so important. So I'm, again, I'm emphasizing the quality of the delivery, not just the numbers. The next thing that's so important, if you think of a forest, if you have trees that are lined up like this, you can see through them. But what we do is we interlock them, like this. So when they're interlocked, you can't see through it. But it's not just two rows that are interlocked, they're all interlocked going back. So you really can also pack them in more densely and closely, but also at the same time, you can't see through them. Now remember, I'm going to modify that and say it's going to be angled down. That's what's so very important. The next thing that's so important is understanding how hair grows. One of the fundamental aspects of my business is to have an aesthetic sense of how to design a hairline, but beyond that is how does the entire hair grow. Every part of the hair grows differently. The hairline in this area tends to grow down. As you start progressing back toward the central scalp, 
you'll see a slight elevation of that angle, which I reproduce. In the area right here, as we blend side toward the side, there's a slight parting, and I reproduce that angle as well. When you look at the crown, which is right here, there is an area that tends to swirl, and usually a counterclockwise, but sometimes counterclockwise pattern, and some other variations of that pattern, and I reproduce every hair angle so it's natural. The temporal area, right in the front area, tends to sweep downward and backwards, and what I do is I reproduce that as well. That's very, very important to do as well. Those are some of the fundamentals of good hair restoration. Unlike almost all my other surgeries in which I am really the principal player, Hair transplantation requires a solid team. I don't import people to come in to work. I have a full set of team members here that work with me all the time. That's very important because they understand and execute the quality that I insist upon. At the top of that leadership team is my hair transplant coordinator, Amina, whom you probably met in one of the other videos on the site. And what she does is ensures that all the cutting and dissection of those little grafts are literally perfect throughout the entire procedure. She's also an MD from another country, and that allows me to work with a person that I can talk to and really collaborate in a very, very uh, clinical fashion. The placement of the grafts is equally important. How do you place those grafts so that there is beautiful growth. If you handle the grafts gently and you place them incorrectly in the right angle, then truly you get a great result. The next subject that I want to touch upon is the donor closure, an area that I'm very proud about. If you take a look at the section on our, our website that talks about our closure, we'll show you a very close-up view of our closure back here. Now let me break down why our closure is so good. I call it a trichophytic closure. And what that is is a very specialized closure that I do myself that allows us to truly get a meticulously seamless result where you barely can see the line. Now obviously this result varies in different people based on the amount of tension on the back. But we take a very thin strip of hair off the back and that allows us to get an almost tension-free closure in most cases. I also take about a half a millimeter, and for those people that are not in the metric system, I don't know if you can understand how small a half a millimeter is, but that's about a half a millimeter. And just taking that little lip of skin off the bottom edge uh, really allows me to get a seamless closure by allowing the hairs to grow through the actual incision line. And that makes it so much more difficult to detect, even in close range. So that is really a, a very different closing technique than what a lot of my competitors uh, take the time to do. The other thing I want to emphasize to you is really that we are a customized outfit. And that's not just words I'm going to throw at you. We do one procedure a day and we don't stop until Amina, myself, and our team are absolutely ecstatic with your result. That requires us to stay as long as it takes to get the job done. That's why we only do one case a day. And that's my guarantee to you, is that we do one a day. And therefore, we allow ourselves to really be able to achieve the best for you. I really look forward to meeting you and, and discussing with you and Amina discussing with you some of the details about your hair situation and really going through how we can help you. Thank you.